Hey, and welcome to this month's edition of InDesign Newsletter. With me, I am Andrea Baslasson. I'm an Adobe Community Professional. I'm also a web and graphic design instructor. So I know you're just waiting to know what we're going to create, and I'm not going to make you wait any longer. So this month, we're going to create a social media event um, for Earth Day, right? We got to protect our Earth, right? So um, we're going to we're going to create um, the event. We're going to do a few things. The um, we're going to use the pen tool. We're going to use the shape tool. We're also going to publish this online. So those are the things that we're going to go over this month. So let's get started. All right, let me go ahead and escape here. Let's go ahead and open up our card. Now, I already have um, parts of the fire already created. Uh, we already went through, I didn't want you guys to have to watch me place things. We go through that every month. You guys know how to place text. You know how to select text. You know how to combine the images. And if you don't, we have more videos up um, from our previous sessions. So um, just take a look at one of those videos and yeah, and it, and it will have you on your way. All right. So in this flyer, we have... Um, Join us for our annual Earth Day celebration. We have two images that we did use the uh, feather tool to uh, combine. We also use blend modes to uh, make them blend together. We also inverted the sky. We flipped it um, uh, vertically um, so the sky, you know, is on top and give it a little bit more uh, interest in the uh, in our design. All right, and so over here you may have noticed that there's a date, but you can't really see it. And this is what we're going to use our other tools for us in. So right inside of InDesign, we have a pen tool. What? I know. I know you're like, what? Stop talking to me. But we do. We have a pen tool. So right here, over here in our tools panel is the pen tool. And it works just like um, it does in Photoshop, Illustrator. A little different at times as far as, you know, we, we want to make sure that we fill it with color. So when we first start drawing, you're not going to see anything. So let's go ahead and show you that. So I'm going to go ahead and just choose any color just because I just want to be able to see it. So I chose red. I know. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just make a generic shape. So it works just like it does in the other programs where you're really just... Um, pulling on these Bezier handles, and then I can hold Alt, break it to go into another direction, same as we do in Illustrator or any other program, Photoshop, nothing new there, but I just wanted you to know we got the pen tool. So now I just created a flag with the pen tool, and if I wanted to make changes, I'm going to switch to the direct selection tool, which is A on the keyboard, or it is this white arrow. And now I'm going to go ahead and manipulate uh, some of these points. So if I wanted to bring, oops, that was not what I wanted to do. If I wanted to bring um, some of these out, I can do that. I can manipulate the handle. I can bring that in just a little bit if I wanted to. Um, like this. Let me lock down the photos real quick because I keep grabbing them. So I'm going to lock these down. Okay, there we go. All right. So now I'm going to go back to manipulating the points. I'm going to pull this one out just a bit. And so see how I can still go in. I'm going to click on this point. Maybe I want to bring this part up just a little bit. And maybe I want to bring this part down just a little bit. Um, but I just made a flag um, right inside of InDesign without having to go into Illustrator. And that's kind of the point that I want um, to show you. Now, don't get me wrong. Illustrator is what I would use for this. But sometimes if I want to do something really, really quick, I'll do it in InDesign. 
because why not if it's there, right? So now I'm going to hit V for the black um, um, arrow, which is going to grab the entire image. And maybe now I might want to, let me go to my layers panel and let me grab my, this path. I'm going to bring it down for the flag and maybe I want to change the color, you know, but right now, I got a nice little flag coming in. I'm going to go ahead and change the color to maybe a blue. And I'm just going to eyeball the blue for now. Okay. So now I made a nice little flag. And maybe if that's what I want, if that's how I want um, to, uh, you know, represent this, I could. So there's my flag. So that was just with the pen tool, guys, with the pen tool. So if I wanted to further manipulate points, I could. I can add points to it. I can manipulate it with the um, convert um, tool. But I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to hide this flag. Because just like an infomercial, there's more. All right. So the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to grab our shape tool. So we're going to grab the square. So the rectangle tool, click on that. And I'm just going to draw out a rectangle, okay? And so now I have this rectangle drawn out. I'm going to combine shapes because we can combine shapes in here too. I think I forgot to mention that, that we're redoing that. But I'm going to combine shapes too. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to hold Alt. So I remember I just grabbed the ellipse. I'm going to hold Alt and I'm going to hold Shift. And Alt is going to allow us to drag this out from the center. I'm going to go ahead and make this shape, right? So now I have a shape that I can use if I wanted to use this shape, but I can also combine it. So I'm going to select both of these. I'm going to go up to uh, window. I'm going to go down to object and layout, and I'm going to choose pathfinder. And you're going to see that we have the pathfinder tool. And if you are used to illustrator, there it is, right? So inside of InDesign, I have a pathfinder tool. I'm going to go ahead and combine these shapes and now I've combined them inside of InDesign. How cool is that? I'm going to undo that. And then I'm going to show you what it looks like if I subtract from that shape. It subtracted the circle um, and the overlapping areas from the shape. I'm going to undo that. The third one is to intersect the shapes. So it took where the intersection is. And it just made a shape based off of that. You can do some really cool stuff, right? I know you got to be saying that this is just cool, all right? And then the next one, I'm going to exclude the overlap shape. Look at that. What? I know. I know. I know. I know you're feeling what I'm feeling. And then the next one is we're going to subtract the shape that's on the bottom from it. And we get some really, really cool stuff. You can also convert the shapes and you can convert your points as well. Um, and you can like play with the paths, connect them and stuff like that. So you have some options right inside of this um, program, which is really, really cool. So the next thing that um, I'm going to do with the two shapes involves the, let me go ahead and get rid of the circle. Okay. So it involves the pen tool, but the plus and the minus, right? So the add and the subtract points. So delete and anchor points, um, let's just go ahead and do that one first. So if I want to delete an anchor point, notice the pen tool has a minus sign, and I can do it from the actual pen tool as well. But I click on that, and if I go close enough to the shape, it will delete a minus sign. Now, why it's not doing it, I don't know. Let me make sure I have it selected. Let me click on the pen tool. Click the minus. Okay. All right. So it didn't allow me to subtract it. I'm not sure why, but if I hit the plus, let's just see. There we go. I think I just wasn't in the right area. I'm not quite sure. But anyway, if I hit the plus sign, then I can add an anchor point tool to it. So I'm going to, yeah, I think I just wasn't close enough, probably because I didn't change the view of my camera. But anyway, so I'm going to click on this, and I've added a point. So now I can actually highlight that point. Let me zoom in. 
There we go. So now I might get better results. All right, so I can actually click on that anchor point and now it's selected because it is, let's see. Okay, now it's selected because it is the only one that is uh, solid. See me moving it? I don't know if, you, if that's showing up on the screen or not. But anyway, I can actually, since it is selected, I'm gonna hit my uh, arrow tool and bring it in. So notice, so now I'm making a flag, which is what I want. Okay, so I made a flag. And I can go the opposite way as well, whichever way I want um, on the arrow key. So now let me see if the mod if the minus works. I think it was because I had it too small and couldn't really see it. So let's try. There we go. Yeah, it was because I was zoomed out. Um, but in any event, so you have the plus, the minus, you can make flags, you can make some, some really, really cool shapes right inside of InDesign. So I'm going to go ahead and minimize that. And I just wanted to show you that you could do that. What I actually want to use is the flag that we created because I thought that that was uh, turned out pretty nice. So I'm going to, oh, there's a flag that I created earlier. Check that out. All right. And I like this one. So now what I want to do is the interaction. So I'm going to go ahead and choose effects. And let's go ahead and choose multiply so that we can get like a nice little effect. And this is our Earth Day poster. Let's hit Shift W so we can look at it. And we're just going to say that we're happy with this. Um, I would play around with it just a little bit more. It's a little bit busy for me. But um, this is our poster that we're going with. I'm going to hit Escape. And I would also probably match up these blues. So whichever blue I like better is the blue that I'm going to go for. So I'm going to go ahead and click this. Now I would also make a swatch. So let's go ahead and make a swatch. So with this blue selected, I can go into our swatches panel and I'm going to choose new and there's the swatch down there. So now I can go ahead and select this one. If it's not locked, I think it might be locked. It is. Okay. I can go ahead and select this one. I don't remember. I don't have to select all these. I can actually just select it and then choose the T for type to let uh, InDesign know what we want to apply that color to. And I can go up here now that I have a swatch and I can choose the new swatch and now it's updated and now the blues are matching. I'm gonna hit save um, and then I would save it. But what I wanna show you is, so we've, we've, we've exported to PDF before we export to JPEG we've exported to um, PNG, but this time, since it is Earth Day, we are trying to save the trees. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna publish this online. Yeah, so the way that we're sending the invitation out is we're gonna send everyone a link. <sighs> yeah, what? Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to file and we're gonna go down to publish online. And then we're going to um, it's going to give us a dialog box. Now we're going to say Earth Day invite, um, Earth Day invite for a Facebook event. Now I, I'm saying publish a new event. So I'm going to say Earth Day invite because this is my second one. So Earth Day invite uh, for a Facebook event. I put in my description. Um, if we had more pages, we could choose like range or all. We could also export as a single document or the spread. That's if we have multiple pages. We don't. We can also allow viewers to um, to download the PDF once they view it. Um, we also have advanced settings. I encourage you to check those out as well. There's some more features inside of there. But for now, we're just going to hit publish. So now InDesign goes through. It looks at the document. It looks at all the information that it needs. And then it gives us this publish online dialog box. We can view the document, we can copy the code, we can we can send it straight to Facebook or Twitter or send it to an email. Um, what we're gonna do is um, copy that code and let's view it, why not? It's gonna open up in a browser. And of course I have two screens, so let me go get the one that uh, open. And so here is our document that's gonna send out to others. Um, 
I'm going to close that. And that is really how you publish online, which is really cool, right? So, um, so let's see. I think I went over everything that I wanted to go over with you guys in this episode. And I did. Yes. So this is this month's episode. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned something new. I hope you enjoy Earth Day and get out there and do something positive for the environment. And let me give you my outro. I'm going to close that. I'm going to go to outro. Right. So this is me, right? So uh, this is me. This is how you can contact me. I, I This is my Instagram, my Behance, and my YouTube. So that's it for today's session. I hope to see you guys next month um, where we will learn something else cool and new. All right. Uh, That's it for today. Ta-ta for now.